Live from Hollywood, this is the KTLA Morning News. Sam, he is. Uh, indeed, no, and we uh, will return to the uh, Valley as uh, events warrant. But, of course, uh, who's hotter than Carlos Mencia? Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, the mind of Mencia. Why does that crack you up? <laughs> Did you just say who's hotter than Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Look at that is awesome. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> I was thinking that, but I wasn't even going to say it, and you said it. Uh, you didn't want to go Mind there. I'm here to raise the roof. Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, he's in the his. Uh, Mind of Mencia is this Comedy Central show, and we were just talking uh, off camera. And, and, you know, again, these sound like cliche phrases, but you get a show like this, one, two, three episodes in, and the whole career changes. Everything changes. People start calling you. They want to put you in movies. And all of a sudden, they wrote roles for you. You know what I mean? It, it's it's weird. It's unbelievable how everything and everything that I got criticized for before is now not a flaw anymore, but it's a positive. You know, you're a genius. You should make fun of people. You should be. You know what I mean? And now it's like, oh my God, you're a genius. You're inclusive. You get everybody. <laughs> you you do it, and everybody loves it. And and uh, and I get emails now, and the emails aren't. Why are you making fun of these people? It's why are you not making fun of where I'm from? <laughs> so I get I got an email the other day from some guy from Latvia as to why I don't make fun of Latvians, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't even. Where's that near Ecuador? I don't even know. It's uh, it's 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 a trip. It's fun. All right, the season finale of Mind of Mency is tonight that you're in, and I'm actually in it. I'm, I'm flattered that you called. How did that happen? Wait. Ha how did that Come happen? On. It's a, how many fallouts do you think it was? <laughs> Let's be honest. Can we get that? No. What about that one? No. What about that one? No. Oh. What about oh. Sam Rubin? Oh. Okay. He'll, he'll do it. He'll he do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do anything. Uh, now, in the, to set the scene a little bit, uh, oddly enough, I play a newscaster, and and you've upset some people, and so they're they're attacking you, right? Yes. All right. Look at this and see if it makes sense. Mind him and see it tonight. In an ironic twist of fate, funny man Carlos Mencia was actually attacked by a shark in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven. <laughs> Mencia is in critical condition. Well, Carlos, I'm a big fan of yours, but you've been making a lot of fun of me on your TV show. And unlike that Nancy boy, Ryan Seacrest, folks piss me off. I tend to get eaten. So now I'm going to finish what I started. In that parking lot of that 7-Eleven. No, it can't be. <laughs> do you ever look at this stuff? I mean, is that, is that one thing that's sort of the magic of television that you can like do wacky stuff like this? Yeah, the cool thing is I remember thinking, uh, pitching the idea, saying, "Yeah, what if, uh, what if President Bush is the actual attacker and he puts on this shark thing and he's the shark that bit me at Seven <laughs> Eleven, and then he and then he he actually pulls the plug after this. Right. He actually right. and it was like, yeah, let's do it. Who cares, you know? And I call the White House and I let them know that you know <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be doing jokes ball. about you guys. Said, oh yeah, we should we should tell you that Carlos has actually helped us here with a special at KTLA that we're really proud of. It is called Access LA, the Latino Experience, which is going to air next Friday night at seven thirty. Can we show a little bit of that? Uh, it's about uh, folks like. Uh, We've done real well. Let's see. I think we have a clip. Maybe not. Maybe it's all in my head. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> it's the accent. It's, it's the fact that, look, if you say you're from Spain, people in middle America no, look at you not. differently no, than if you say you're right. Mexican you're because right. okay. Spain brings up beauty and absolutely. elegance and Mexican brings up, hola, senor, okay. como estas? That's wait, the wait, mental wait, bring wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. That is the one thing that I have been talking well, about. Uh, Lynette Romero, and that'll be uh, Friday, October the 7th at 1030. Man, things are going good for you. Come back. I wish we had a lot more time. It's all right, man. Will you come it. back? You. I would love to. Don't get so huge that you forget about us. I would okay? love to. All right. I <laughs> You're welcome here anytime. <laughs> all right, we're going to be back in a minute with more on the fire in Van Nuys.